Hey guys, no subscribers guy here, and I decided I'm going to bring back another bit of gameplay from World of Tanks, bit of fun. Another game, I'm going to have another game in my 82, seeing as I've been having some really good games over the past few days. So I said I'm going to head out on my 82 and, and see what happens, just doing a, a random battle, and hopefully we're going to have, have a good game, because I actually hate bad games. So, this should be a good match, we are... Yeah, as I say, top tier in this match. There is an enemy AT2. It should be fun. And there is an enemy Stug. And uh, he is probably my most formidable enemy of them all, I have to say. And the one that I fear most is their Stug. Anything from their Crusader down, I don't particularly fear. Not that much. This should be a good game. Just turn my sound down a tad. Alright, let's do that. That's way too low. About seven. Right, let's do this. Okay, so we are probably going to go around. The great thing is, this is actually an alright tank from range. And from range, no one's going to be able to accurately penetrate your your commander's cupola there on the left. So I recommend my head up to the ridge line, wait for the scouts to spot and start raising them up whilst they bounce a lot. Bounce off our frontal armor with this thing is just insane. The, that's the biggest strong point in this tank, and obviously, as many people know, the biggest weak point of this tank is evidently its speed. You see how quickly that stug just accelerated in comparison to how slowly I went. Any platoons? No platoons. Should be a good match. And slowly and surely, we will work our way up to this ridge line. Oh, we've already got first spot in Panzer 4 and a KV 1. Trying to sneak around that ridge line. If only I had the speed of that stug. So jealous right now, but oh well, we will roll with what we have. Oh, 82 spot already. Scouts are doing an excellent job over here. Oh, we lost a T28. That's a shame. They're winning 1 0. As soon as I get to that ridge line, I'll start losing fire into that KV1. Fortunately, they're probably getting it ass hammered. It's ass absolutely handed to him there by the KV1. We've got a little AM881 coming in. Stug's trying to back off. I'll take the hits for the Stug. And take out the 82. 82, everyone needs to know where to shoot. Great, Electro hit me, but the Electro is not going to be alive for much longer. Because we can nail this Electro. And he ain't going to be doing much about us. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Electro. Good kill, right. We need to get some scouts forward to do some spotting in for us. And already I've just been bouncing like absolutely crazy. This is a brilliant game. Oh no, we're losing pretty badly. Took a penetrating hit there. Someone is evidently using high explosives. That was not armor piercing, that was blatantly high explosives. Pull back. Ah, Panzer 4, Panzer 4. Not good. Oh, I'm going to need some assistance from the team here. I am going to need some assistance, but our team is getting absolutely thrashed, there's nothing I can do. The only one on the team with a kill right now. I can slowly just whittle down this Panzer 4, very stupid Panzer 4. We did get away from me, I'm just going to have to hit, hit this, um, keep hold of this ridge line and try and do what I can. There's an 82 up there. The heads are definitely using high explosives on me. Yes, got the 82. Gotta watch my health though, because this 82 is getting me. I'm gonna pull out of there. Yeah. This heads is really nailing it on me. Ah, oh, the heads have got me in the end. That oh, was kind of a bad game, we only got one kill. But I don't know, <coughs> our team got absolutely crushed there, only me and the KV won so far, I've got any kills. Yeah, this game was an evidence rollover for them. Yeah, only me and the KV won did anything, everyone else just got massacred. I was hoping for a better game, top tier, you know, I was hoping for our team to kind of hold us up a bit there, but that didn't really work out the way I'd hoped, but what can you do? I had to hold that ridge line by myself against... Uh, against quite a few enemy tanks, but we did, we did pretty badly. 
And I'm not gonna lie, that was a, that was a bad game. But you learn, you you learn from from the losses. It's a primary way to learn. Your wins are great, but your losses are your losses really teach you how to play the game. And I only got one kill, unfortunately, on that unlucky little Electo and this KV1 driver. I have to admit, is a very reasonably good driver. Three kills. It's only him and this Hetzer left. I don't think he's gonna fare well against 82. Nope. He lost his track. Yeah, we're screwed. The Hetz is, Hetz is practically dead. The Kappen, it's just a KV left. He's got four kills. To be fair with this guy, he is going down fighting. He will not give up. This man is not going to give up without a fight. Uh, and good for him. It's better to go down fighting than it is to be a coward and die, I guess. Or be, no offense to artillery drivers, but, you know, commit suicide. Which is probably the most frustrating thing I find about artillery drivers. Oh right, well, we'll press on. Oh, took a bit of a hit there. You're dueling it out with an 82. The 82 is just a shot at XC right now, but this guy is. The 82 is most likely going to win. Yeah, the, either Cap or the 82 will kill him. This is a bad game, unfortunately. I'm not going to get much XP from it. So I guess we'll head out afterwards and try and aim for a good game. So I absolutely love the 82 when you get a good team or a reasonable team. If your team's really good, then the 82 is too slow to catch up with the action. But when you get a good team, you know, the things change. Or you get a reasonable team. If you get a bad team, then life sucks. If you get a really, yeah, not really good, an average team, then life's pretty good. Life is pretty good. And these things work brilliantly on city maps. And this isn't a city map. Brilliant. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, play. we'll play to its strengths and weaknesses. One of its weaknesses is its speed, obviously, and its strengths is its armor. This is why it's great for city maps, because it's got quite a nice little punchy little gun. What's that punchy? It's, it's got quite um, bad penetration, but it's got a great look, rate of fire. And I think that on that last match there, a uh, Hetzi driver was getting quite angry at me, and decided just to fire his um, premium or HE shells at me. I can't currently see what he was firing at me there. This is a good match. Unfortunately, this thing is slow. We'll see if we can get a game off in our... A uh, good game off in this evening. The Jackson and a Panzer IV and... Not many people. T28, a Chihi... A Chihi, sorry. The Chihi and the Hellcat are all heading down here. Oh, and the IRL is firing. The Cheeto seems... No, he's not okay. Good. Good to know our teammate is definitely not in the AFK. Just to check any platoons up, oh, we got a platoon between a T40 and a Matilda Black Prince. Name team's got an SE100, a PZSFL4C, a, a, a tire and a SE100, and a Type T34 Crusader. Which is pretty good. I feel for that Type T34 guy though, because he is hooked up with a scout light tank and unfortunately he's going to be into some horrible tier 8 tier 9 games even with the uh, that's a tier 5 machine isn't it yeah the Crusader's tier 5 well even we've advanced pretty far well our T28 and our Hellcat just got absolutely murdered instantly very deadly SU100 on that hill this ARL44 is uh, YOLOing it we hit the chi. Chihi! What a great name of that. Great chihi name. Oh, good hit there. Kill. We're a blind fire, but we, uh. I think we deserve that bomb. Churchill 3 coming in. Whoop. Uh oh, we've been hit pretty badly by that Hellcat there. We're gonna pull back. This Hellcat definitely has it in for me right now. I think I've gone out of his sights. Luckily, he stops, that Chihi stops scouting us. I'm just going to pull back to a safe position and we can fire again. I. Again, I am tasked with defending a whole section to myself with the artillery. Once the rest of the team have gone around here. And I don't think I'm going to fare well fighting off a KV1S. 
especially if he's got the top gun and the Hellcats there. I'm probably just gonna uh, try and back up a bit, get to a strong, a stronger position, and then we'll try and hold him off for as long as we can. Hopefully, that team can loop around. Yep, I'm tracking the attention artillery. We are winning, but I will inform the team. I'll need help on this side. Somebody could head over. Yep, no one's gonna ha head over. And I predict that Hellcat or someone's gonna come through soon. So I can guess a I'll do what I can. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. There's the old Hellcat. Oh, I'm so screwed. We definitely need assistance on this side now. I'm bouncing a few shots. But I'm getting lucky. Yeah, oh god, no, the Hellcat's gonna finish me off. He bounced, he bounced. The Hellcat, I'm just bouncing. I am luckily bouncing, but that KV1S is about to finish me. I'm not gonna use my Hellcat, there's no point. It's just a waste of money. We'll be just a waste of money. I'm gonna die anyway. And I went down trying to fight. And finally, a heavy decided to come and try and show up, but in vain in my life, really. But we are winning this game, luckily, so I might actually get more experience. And we need them to cap, and a Jackson's coming back to try and help. But I got a kill at least on that blind fire there. And I probably got a nice bit of potential damage received because that Hellcat was almost literally wrecking me there. We'll, we'll see how this game ends. Fortunately, the judge that this gorilla driver is a very, very lucky gorilla driver. Oh, no. I'm going to tell the Black Prince is doing what they can at M4. I have the Jackson. Jackson's come back, run back to base. I don't know, probably to no avail that Hellcat and the. To be fair, oh, no, wrong place. The Gorilla Driver somehow. St Still alive. No, the girl's dead. But we're probably gonna cap their base before. We will. The VK won't get in the cap zone. Yeah, we're most likely gonna lose this game. 12 on 12. Yep, kill there. This VK were just to just a cap, then we could actually win the game. But they're not. I, I don't know who's capping. I think it's just the Hellcat. Or the I think both of them are capping at this kind of rate. Yeah, they're both capping. Nope, just one of them capping. And the Jackson has actually realised that the Panzer PZ SFL 4C is there. And everyone's ordering the Jackson to move, and he's a bit of a coward, so he's not gonna. Unfortunately, and this uh, Chi He driver is raging like hell, getting angry at the Jackson driver. Jackson driver is. If he, hit, if he hits the Panzer for whatever, four. Kill on the Panzer for four. If he just moves in on that Hellcat. No, he's not gonna. We're gonna lose this match. Unfortunately, we. I guess we fought violently to try and save our side, but it wasn't enough. Hit the Hellcat. Oh, the Hellcat finishes him off. What a shame. It was a. It was a well fought match, really, in the end, but we just lost two games in a row. <laughs> but I guess you can learn from the losses. And you have to learn from the losses. Because that's the only way you're going to get better. So I guess the lesson we can take back here from today is the fact that you have to learn from your losses. I've been the No Subscribers Guy, then, and thank you for watching.